All right, so at this point, if you've been following along in these videos, um, you should probably be at a point similar to where I am. Um, I've opened a PowerPoint, I've got an OBS installed. I was actually able to create a final file here, an MP4 um, of my presentation with me on a webcam. And I'll just open that up for a second to show you. Immediately, I can hit F5. Do is right click that icon again and All right. So you see my file is about 47 seconds long, but I'm sure yours is going to be a lot longer uh, just depending on the assignment you have. So the first thing I'm actually going to do to make this a little bit easier for myself is rename this file uh, to uh, presentation and um, maybe just put your name at the end of it or something so you know exactly what you're looking at. And it'd be a good idea to go ahead and make some copies of this. If you've got a flash drive, um, just copy and paste it on over to that flash drive. Um, or make sure that it's on um, your cloud storage, Microsoft OneDrive or something like that, just so you have a backup in case something goes wrong, in case the YouTube uh, upload doesn't work. Um, so now we're gonna work under the assumption that you need to upload this to YouTube and probably grab a link to post to Blackboard. So in our, our web browser, I'm going to youtube.com. I'm going to click sign in up here in the corner I'm going to get signed in and if I don't have a account for YouTube or Google I'm gonna go ahead and create an account if you have a Gmail account uh, because YouTube falls under Google's umbrella just like Gmail uh, you can actually use that to go ahead and sign in and create your YouTube channel that's if you have a Gmail account um, so I've already got this set up I'm gonna go next enter in the password so now I should see that in the top right corner I'm logged into the YouTube account um, now what I want to be able to do is upload my video, change a couple um, of the, a little bit of the information on it, a couple of the details on the video, uh, maybe add tags if I plan to make this um, something that anybody can see, but we'll talk about the privacy settings in a second. I see this icon up here that says create a video or post. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now I have the option to upload a video, that's what I'm going to do. And now we see the upload screen youtube.com slash upload there are a couple things that I can do here to go ahead and upload my video one would be to sort of minimize this and uh, drag this presentation video into this box and it's going to upload um, or I can just click here and browse what's on my desktop to upload well, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm setting this to unlisted if I don't want other people to see this outside of uh, my class. So you do have a few different options there. Scheduled, that means it's going to be a public video that you just don't want to be uploaded, well not uploaded, you don't want to be visible immediately. It's going to go ahead and upload right now and at the date and time that you set, that's when it's going to be visible to everybody else. Um, I don't want that in this case. Private, this is an important one. If you set it to private, that means that for anybody else to see this video, they're actually going to have to have your YouTube credentials and log into YouTube under your account um, to view this video. So you absolutely don't want that. Um, what you do probably want is unlisted. If you go with unlisted, that means that only people you give the link to or you know wherever the link is shared, only those people are going to be able to view this video. But it's also not going to be so locked down that anybody needs to log in under your account to see it. Um, and public is pretty obvious, that's just everybody can see it. There's no restrictions on that. Um, so that's a choice you can make if you want everybody and um, if you want it to be searchable on Google for people to pull up whatever topic you're talking about, um, that's an option, but unlisted is probably what you're gonna do. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, and click. And I find that presentation that I named and I choose open. Now immediately it starts uploading. Just depending on where you are, if you're on campus, this should go pretty fast because we've got decent internet on campus, about 600 down and I've seen uh, over 100 megabits per second up. So it's pretty fast compared to most internet you're going to find out there right now. Um, but if you do it from home it might take a little bit longer than this so I already see processing is done that was almost instant just because it's a 40 second uh, a 47 second video 
Um, yours will probably take a little bit longer if you know it's five minutes or something like that. That means it's a much larger file. It's going to take longer to upload. And it's going to take longer to process. Um, but I should see uh, this thumbnail over here. I've already got a link. I could actually just copy and paste that right now if I wanted to. Um, but the first thing I want to do actually is change some of these settings. So if I were in, well, that was a PHED, um, let's see, 332 PowerPoint. So if, if that were the class that I were creating this presentation for, I'm probably just going to name it um, the class name, maybe even the section, and then uh, presentation or something like that, and then maybe my name on there as well so that uh, everybody who's watching it knows exactly whose presentation they're seeing and it's easy for your professor to know as well. You can give it a description but it's not necessary. If you're going to go with a public video you can always add tags and do things like that. You can always change that again over here if you accidentally uploaded the video first and you didn't change it to unlisted you can change your privacy setting over to the side as well. So once you've changed any of those settings that you needed to change you can click done at the top and immediately you're given a share URL we can click that and copy it now if we were going to upload this to blackboard you're just going to go ahead and go to the blackboard site uh, find the discussion board where you need to be posting those links and then all you have to do is right click and paste what you just copied which should look like a URL something like that and if we actually visit that here we are here's the video so that's actually live on YouTube you can check one more time that it's unlisted if you did not want it to be public um, after that it's your video on YouTube just make sure you don't take it down until you know after this class is good and over uh, just in case your professor needs to grade it and a couple of suggestions I'd like to throw in here before this video is over is to come to the library for help if you need it. Um, there's going to be more information on the LibGuide that this is actually posted under. Uh, you're going to be able to click through the tabs and view again these different um, sections of the videos on you know installing OBS, uh, setting up OBS so that you're ready to record, and then the actual recording process. This is just the last video in that series. So if you found yourself here and you're wondering how did you get this far, click through those other tabs and on the first tab there's going to be some information about the library with links um, as far as how you can um, reserve a room we have several rooms that you can reserve just by a couple clicks online um, every day they're open for several hours as long as the library is open uh, we've also got cameras and things like that in the learning technology lab if you were to need that for this or any other video making project um, we have microphones and things like that um, if you needed a laptop with a webcam, um, go to the front desk of the library. We have several um, nicer, newer laptops with webcams and microphones built in that you're free to check out for a few hours and use for this type of project. But again, more information like that is going to be available on that LibGuide page. If you click through the tabs, there should be uh, like links to obsproject.com in case you're having trouble finding that on Google or something like that. You can just click right over to the link to the installer. And again, any other information that I have for you is going to be posted there and updated as need be.